everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. It's been a while. There was a new creature released actually. But you might be asking James where where, where if it was why it was a video. The video did not appear because I couldn't get it. As you may know with our Jurassic World the game series recently, that Ludia makes it harder and harder and harder for one to obtain bucks and DNA. To the point where they've basically taken out all of the DNA and bucks from the game that you can win normally. Which is such a terrible thing for them to have done. Um, and because of this, I can no longer speed up and buy things like I used to be able to. I mean, you could say I could sell all of my creatures. And you know what? You'd be right. That was a fair point. I probably could do. But, 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 but. Um, the reason I haven't done it is because the hybrid... Oh, look, it's got a little icon in the top left. I've never noticed that before. Um, is this. Lathornax. I think. I think it's Lathornax. So if I wanted to speak... This is halfway done. So it almost cost about, what, 3,000 bucks each. Each to do. Each to speed up. Which is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. It's five days, out, probably out of seven. I think it takes a week. Um, so it's probably about 1,000... Probably 2,000 bucks. Two, I, could, I couldn't even speed up three guys. So with that in mind, I've just got to wait. And this is why it just makes me think more and more I should just hack the game. Like, sod it. At this point, I've played enough. All I want to hack is just give me, like, loads and loads of bucks so I can speed things up. That's it. I don't want to break anything else. I'm just sick of the, <laughs> the way this game's gone with bucks. I mean, I wouldn't abuse it. I would just give myself books so I can speed up and show you things. Everything else I would do. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Leave in the comments. Tell me what you think. Um, for my years of service, you know it would be better if I just actually got in touch with Ludi and said, look, okay, I'm going to hack it or you can just give me it. Come on. <laughs> but also I do like the fact that, you know, everything in the game I've earned, I've never hacked it. Back in the past, I was, I was so against hacking. Now it just feels as though I can't show anything. And it's not my fault because I've played this game for years. It's Ludia's fault because they've taken everything away that allows you to progress in the game at a satisfactory pace. Um, I, there's no way of me getting more books. Th there just isn't. I could do, you could argue, oh, you should, you should do all of the missions. What, and get 60, 120, like 150 books a day, if that? That's not enough. That's not enough to speed up, and like you know, Lathornax, which is 2,000 instantly. I can't do it. And Ludia, are you listening? You're not, you're bloody well not listening because you're deleting Jurassic Park Builder, a game I spent hundreds of pounds on. Oh dear. But no, it's not all doom and gloom. We are gonna see the new creature, even though I can't make it because they were nice enough to put it in the legendary rumble. So we got a level 39 Gathornax and a, no, well, two level 39 Gathornax and a Metrophodon, which is great because now we get to see just what this tournament hybrid can do. Um, and at level 40, it has double the health of Metrophodon almost um, and half the attack. So it's kind of on par. And if we compare it to the bottom you know, these kind of dinosaurs down here. Um, where's it on par with? It's on par with Erlifosaurus. So it's a really good dinosaur. I guess because it is a... I was just expecting it to be a glacier. I really just want one amazing glacier creature like that. Can you imagine having a creature with 7,000 health, 2,300 in the glacier friggin' tournament? Uh, just for example, let's, let's try that. Let's go into... Uh, whatever this is, and then switch it to Cenozoic. Imagine that. It would be top. It would be top. I'd be so, I mean, Mammotherium is kind of up there, and so is Smithoceras. Um, but at the same time, it would just be nice to have another one added to it. And I don't get why we can't just have something that looks like a dinosaur in the glacier. I mean... Why? Do you remember that old glitch that we used to do where you would put Indominus Rex in the in the water? It's possible. It's doable. I just don't know. Maybe it's like a separate build and they'd have to put in the code for all like the carnivore carnivores code into the glacier pack or something like that. Maybe it's something complicated. Like if I was at Ludia and I wanted to pick up more steam on this game, 
I'd be like, wait, wait, we're making a hybrid to do with a, a land carnivore and a glacier creature? And we've already got five million carnivores in the game? Sod it! Put it in the glacier! That'll mix things up! It'll be awesome! People requested it! God damn it! <laughs> As you may. No, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm getting a bit hot blooded because it's just, it just, it frustrates me. It really does because I've supported this game for so long and just, and you know, maybe, maybe it's just too soon. Maybe it's too soon since Jurassic Park Builder was taken down or at least it's going to be taken down soon. Maybe. And it, it's just all happening so quick. Oh. <laughs> So, the carnivores and a flyer. Actually, a really good team. Because what counts as a carnivore? Amphibian. And what counts as amphibian? A flyer. So, we have to go for amphibian and a herbivore. But that's not really a good team. The, the team we have to go for here um, is an aquatic. I would say. No, no, no sorry. Not an amphibian. Um, yeah, it's just a horrible team to have. <laughs> to be up against. Because they're so tough. And actually, if we go into... Uh, this is the Bastard Infinite that finally came about. Uh, look at that. Pretty tough, eh? If not even harder. That is for a mystery pack. Yes. Ridiculous, isn't it? So, we're gonna do this. In fact, actually, what is this one? Look at that indoor raft. Actually, tell you what, I know we will eventually start it. Um, I unlocked another indoor raptor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven indoor raptors. One more and we could get a level 40. But you know what? Sod that. I don't want to do that because that would be a waste of resources and interrupted DNA. So there we go, up to level 10. Another one used. Look at him in his claw. That's right. Eat the jellyfish man of war and throw it. Yes. Yes, yes. Ah, Indoraptor, you are beautiful. So, well, we did a mission for doing that, so that's good, I suppose. Oh, also, before we do the battle, this is something I wanted to uh, have a look at. Now, every now and again, people do get good trades in here. Like this one. That's a beautiful trade. However, I had to make that myself. Um, otherwise, this is, a, this is brilliant, right? Look at this. Look at this. So, you got the 25th anniversary Jurassic Park statue. Um... Do you want to trade it for 500 DNA almost? What? This should be worth way more. You can't buy those. You can't get those anymore, I don't think. And yet here, here the game is like, I just get rid of it. <laughs> oh, and if, even if it did want me to get rid of it or trade it, it should be way more than that. Indoraptor, Indoraptor, Indoraptor. There you go, that's a, ooh, and that is, that's a lovely one. I like you got Indominus Rex on the left, Indo Gen 2 on the right. Um, so he can't kill me in two, but he looks really cool at level 40. Got quite a thin head, but a really bulky body. I, I, I'm assuming that's because they just use the same base for every carnival. I mean, it has two fingers for crying out loud. Did Lithornix have two fingers? Uh, probably not. Whoa! That was a lot. Whoa, that was a lot. But he doesn't have anything now, so we can go for that. And then three reserves, and we have one! Yeah! And in comes another one! Back from the grave. Oh, he's got big round eyes. He's like a puppy dog. Mmm. Again, I would have loved to have had that. Would have loved to have had that in the glacier. Would be, you know what? It would have been so nice to actually sit. And I'm sick of this arena. Ludia, for God's sake, listen to us. I'm like the only person that cares about this game anymore. God damn it. <laughs> I want other arenas. <laughs> I just, I just pictured myself in an empty hall. Like, I was there from the start, and now I'm here like, Lydia, please! And they're, they're just, they just walk, they've walked off stage. They're like, no one's here. We're not, we're not going to come out anymore. We're not playing this concert. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I want you arenas. <laughs> really, it's in vain, isn't it? It's in vain. I will talk about the Jurassic Park Builder. I will talk about Jurassic Park Builder because I think it stands as a, um, a like a, I don't, even, don't know what the name is for it because I'm blanking on the, the phrase, but like a case. It's like a, a standout case for app games and the future of app games um, because we've seen now the full cycle, the full life cycle of it. And what happens uh, after all the hours and time that you've put into it and money. What happens to everything? And I'd like to talk about that in a video. 
Because it, I, I'm not, you know, just pooping on Ludia here. Um, but in a way, I am. <laughs> uh, but what, I, what I'm wanting to raise is a, the awareness of what happens with these games once um, they're financially not viable anymore. Because I think the only reason that Jurassic Park Builder has been taken down is because the, it's costing them more to run the servers and, you know, pay staff to upkeep the game than it, the game is actually producing. Um, which is such a shame. But that's what happens. And it, it's something that isn't talked about because if you buy a game, let's say I've got, I've got like Wii games um, and I played one not too long ago with my friends on Bro Gaming and the servers were shut down for that game, but I could still play the game. I just couldn't play online. But with app games, that's not how it works. I knew, I knew it, damn it, I wasn't paying attention. I knew he blocked for one. Oh, uh, you gotta go for my tactic, always factor in two. Oh, okay, right. It might not be lights out. We might actually win this with a sweep here. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, actually. Okay, we can do this. We can do this because we're gonna get a boost to our attack. Oh yes, we kill him in two. Each one gets killed in two. Now hopefully he goes for full on hit here. Go for four. Oh yes, we've done it. Oh yeah, love it. Okay, so we can't die. Oh, we can die in one hit, just by the way. Okay, so that's killed him. One, two, three, four. And two hits kills him anyway, so we won. There you go, a Praetrodon sweep, the triple kill. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, and with app games, you know, you, you, you spend more time on app games than you probably do regular games these days, I would say. And the market for app games is huge, and the money that they can make is huge. That's why you've got like, um, what is it? Uh, oh god, we go with we Code 19. You've got League of Legends is now an, a mobile game. You've got Call of Duty is a mobile game. Ark Survival Evolved is a mobile game. Um, you got all these. Fortnite, I think, had a mobile version, didn't it? As well as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So you might think, why are these amazing games making loads of money go to app games? It's because there is so much money to be made in app games. But what happens when those games are no longer financially viable? Jurassic Park Builder is the standout case here. And it's gonna... It, it just... It's a testament, really. And also at the same time, it's quite depressing. Because if after all the hours, all the money that I spent in Jurassic Park Builder, the game can just disappear without you know, um, Ludia being held accountable or I get a refund for all the money that I've spent on the game um, because it is in their terms of service um, that they're, they're, you know, you're not allowed to get a refund for all the money that you've spent on the game even though the game no longer exists. Um, this and all future app games can go exactly the same way. Now, the things that they can't take back is the memories, of course, and the, ha the good times, the happy times that you've had playing the game and the memories. But, at the same time, that's what nostalgia is about, though. You enjoy the game at the time, and then years later, you can come back to the game and be like, Oh, I remember this. And that's part of the investment. That's, it's like a double payoff. Memories and nostalgia. Um, but with Jurassic Park Builder, we won't be able to do that because it will go completely. And even if you have the game still installed on your phone or whatever, um, you won't be able to open it. You'll, you'll be able to open the app, but then it'll say, can't connect to servers. That's what will happen. Uh, if not, they might just put out a build that downloads. Sorry, I don't know, I failed there miserably. Um, they probably put out a build at the very last time the game updates just before they shut it down, that said that when you open it, it says this game is no longer, but thank you for all your support. That's probably what they'll do. Uh, if not, it'll just, you know, do the connection issue. And that's, there's, there's just, it, it sucks. Because this game, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, the game, is pretty much Jurassic Park Builder, but with better graphics. Meaning that in four years time, I'm gonna speculate, this game will be no longer supported 
and Ludia will close it. I'm just saying. That's probably what... I mean, what Ludia are doing to negate it, and I'm, I know I'm talking about this in a video, but we'll, we'll talk about it in a lot more detail when we're actually playing Jurassic Park Builder for the last time ever. Um... Because I know a lot of you guys want me to do that, and hell if I'm gonna, I'm gonna deny you that. Woo, I got a lot to get off my chest, <laughs> which I'm doing right now. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's just not a good, it's not good, it really isn't. Um, what they should do to, to stop having people prattle on like myself about it is just allow people to still act, download their parks, to download their parks to their phones and therefore they can always look at their parks. They may not be able to, um, you know, battle in tournaments or... Actually, no, yeah, we should be able to because they're all bots. Sod it. Lydia, put that in. God. <laughs> Just take out all of the abilities to connect a server to generate bot-like things. Just have it as, like, bots. Uh, at least then, you know... You can still get the dinosaurs and just add a rotation. So every now and again, you get different DNA. But alas, that won't happen. It's too much. Like, at this point, they don't want to put any more money into the game. And it's fair enough. From a business standpoint, I get it. I get it. I get it, okay? I just don't like it. <laughs> oh, God. And I want to say thank you, guys. A thanks to you for um, listening to me. And if you're, if you're listening right now, you're the reason that this channel got to where it was. You watched through probably those Jurassic Park builders, but you definitely watched through the Jurassic World the game as well. Um, and it it just it sucks because it's like it, you know, I I have so many memories with that that game. I did so many different things. Uh, I was in a completely different place in my life where I didn't think that this YouTube could be my you know a career a, a, a life. Um, and because of Jurassic Park Builder, I was lucky enough to get that. Uh, okay, so the final one, I'm actually wanting to do the mystery pack here. So I'm not going to uh, do my best creatures if I don't have to. So what I want is carnivores. So luckily enough, this is there's something this game has a lot of. It's flipping carnivores. So we're just going to put all those in. Uh, we'll just... Ooh, you know what it is? I'm gonna go for a reserve. I'm gonna go for a reserve. I could kill Segna Sutures, but actually it's not really too much of a threat, even with two hits. This thing, however, is. Especially with Tiny Calagrius, which comes out next, and, um, doesn't have enough attack to kill it in two. Otherwise, I would have went for it. Erlivosaurus might have. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. It's dangerous. It's dangerous with Indoraptor. I'm going to have to go for the switch. And because Tiny Calagrius isn't really that great, uh, I'm just going to go for three reserves here. Let's see what he does. He has to go for two at least. Oh, we won. There you go. That was easy now, wasn't it? Just like that, we've won. But Beaver. How oh, my God. Ah! Sorry, I went to the gym about two days ago uh, with my friend. And he's proper ripped. <laughs> So he did. He didn't go easy when I was doing the uh, exercise with him on my leg. I can't even straighten it out. <laughs> anyway, uh, one, two, three, and there we go. I mean, I could go for two block here, and Erlikosaurus wouldn't be able to kill me. And they got no reserves. We're pretty much done. I'm just playing it safe. Because he'll switch out to Udon anyway. Yeah, there you go. And he can't even do anything. <laughs> ah, let's go. One, two. You know, like, as far as the battling system goes, the air yeah, factor in two, there you go. This is like checkers or drafts. We call it drafts in the UK, but I mean, no, a lot of my audience is American, so checkers. Um, and one, two. He's going to have to go for three. Oh, we definitely won. Oh, he goes for four. Never mind. Um, oh, yeah, because two wouldn't kill me. So there you go. Yeah, this game, Jurassic World, the game is checkers. Jurassic World Alive is chess. Because with checkers, it, there's, there's like a certain, you know, there's only so many moves you can do. Um, but with chess, there's so many different types. And it's more complicated. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 well, I mean, yeah, sure, I would have preferred the pack. I could accidentally click that 4,000. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> so let's do the mystery. Hey, hey, ho, there she goes. And what should we go for? I mean, we have to go for that. We have to go for that. And then we have to go for that, right? Even still, that is insane. So let, let's play this out. I go for 
one block. Right? He switches to Nodosaurus. Hopefully he goes for one attack. Then I go for two block. And then the next turn, because he, he won't kill me then, I could switch into Udon. Um, ah, oh, this is tough, man. This is really tough. Oh, okay, let's try it. Let's try it. At least we get to see a different battle arena, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for one block because we can't risk anything else. We really can't. If I go for one reserve, Nodosaurus comes in here and kills me because it can. Um, right, so I'm going to go for now. Uh, I could go for two block. But... If he goes for one reserve, I'm dead. And if he has one reserve, he will kill me. And that'll be too wasted. So, oh, it's just not good, man. It's not good. And this thing has the most health out of everything. 21,000 health in comparison to 12 and 15,000, the Nodosaurus. So he's the biggest threat here. Because Udon has the lowest attack out of everything. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pray that he doesn't go for a reserve and goes for a block. Come on, go for a block! Yes! Okay, now I have to also have to pray that he doesn't attack me at all. Come on! Gods be with me! Draft of Jesus! You buddy! <laughs> you buddy! Ah! Ooh! Draft of Jesus betrayed me! Uh okay, okay. Okay. Okay, lemon, lemon, lemon. Can't kill me in that many hits. So I could technically go for two block and survive here. I might be tempted to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Still with a chance. Still with a chance. Okay, yeah. He, he could probably kill me in two, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. You bugger you! Of course you don't. Right. Right. Okay, it's up to Segna Sutures. It's up to Segna Sutures. I'm just going to sod it. I'm going to go all out. Give them all to Segna Sutures. Let's see how this does. Let's see how we do. Four. Come on. Yes! Okay, we might have won. I think we might have won. Right. Only thing is, Segna Sutures has really low health. So, he has nothing. We kill him in three. Now, 4,000. That's going to be half. So, we can take one hit. So, we can go for three block and two reserves. Now, we sh I'm hoping we can kill him in two hits. Moo! Yes, I think we can. Moo! We're a cow! <laughs> okay, I think we killed him. Does two hits kill him? Our survey says... Yes! So there we go, we're done. Well played, well played. That's, this is where he doesn't die. <laughs> and there, we did it! Oh my god, all that for a hundred DNA and a mystery pack. Are you kidding me? Oh well, 20 bucks and... Oh, Caprasuchus! That's not so bad. And some VIP points, but... <laughs> Um, what I could do as well, hey, oh look, now it's saying VIP, that wasn't there before. And it does tell you how much it costs. Wait, what's 4,000? Okay, it's not gonna look, what's this one? What'd you get? A hundred bucks, or you could spend half the amount and still get a hundred bucks. So you're paying double for a building. And as far as this one, this is 50,000. Uh, you get 1,500 bucks. Um, but let's say you go for this and you get a hundred bucks. Ooh, that actually might be better. What about this one? That gives you 500, two, four. Yeah, actually, you have a better chance of getting higher books getting a Pterodostro pack. Because you could get 4,500 bucks. Possibly. Saying that though, wouldn't you rather just if you if you got ten of these, so that's three thousand bucks, um, and that uh, that leaves you with twenty. No, actually, you're better still doing this. If you want books, you're better opening these. It'll take a while, and you've got probably less chance of getting books. But in theory, if you open uh, ten, twenty, thirty of these packs, it's the same as opening one of these, one of the Pterodostros. And let's say you open one Pterodostro pack. And you don't get any books. That's everything wasted. So there's actually more chance of you getting better book options opening 30 of these than one Pterodostro. Because at least then you probably are guaranteed to get books. Um, 
In fact, let's do it. Oh, sod it. I'm not, I'm not going to do because I'm not VIP. I can't do that one. But there you go. If that was a Teradostro pack, I would only got 1,500 bucks there. But I've still got 29 more of these packs with, a, with an option of 29 times by 3 times by 100 amount of bucks. So, they, I mean, there you go. Uh, it just speaks for itself. So, there you have it, guys. We did it. And we made it all the way to the end. We talked about a hot topic at the moment. And we might as well just collect the DNA there. Have I got anything that I can level up? Ooh, mono stegotops. I could probably buy. Um, if we go into the market, we go into super hybrid and then buy it. Oh, wait. How much does it cost? How much is mono stegotops? Is it 2,000? No, oh, sorry, a cap, a spine of the sutures. There you go. We can buy another one of those. There you go. Spine of the sutures done. Um, I, I think I might have hatched those. I can't remember. Have I hatched the spine of the sutures? Let's have a look. Before we go, let's have a look for spine of the sutures. Okay, there's mono stegotops. We could. I might as well feed it, eh? Because that takes it from 600 attack to 900. Om, yum, yum, yum. We could get level 30, actually. But another level 20 is probably quite good. Level 30, it is really freaking good. But level 20 would be even better. Because uh, what's the difference, actually? 1,500 attack to 900 attack. And you get an extra, how much? 2,000 health. Yeah, yeah. Actually, to get level 30, it's worth it. Uh, maybe even level 20s are probably better. But I'd say le level 40 is probably not going to be worth it. Oh, and the final one! The final one! Oh, I just got another one of you! Ooh, your teeth are weird. It's like an inside of a pug's mouth. Ugh. Yeah, if you want to see what we've done to dogs, have a look at the inside of a pug's mouth. It's horrendous. Because, you, you know, dogs have long snouts. And they have, you know, if a long snout, it's got all teeth running up and down it. But, because we've bred pugs to have a short snout, imagine just cramming, like pushing a dog's, like, mouth inwards. Yeah, that's what its mouth actually, its teeth will look like. Ooh, it's so bad. What have we done? Four, five, six. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna get that perfect. <laughs> I'm just so good. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, dude. oh well, you know I didn't want DNA anyway. I want bucks. I don't care about that. And there you go. I spent a lot of food. Some more VIP points. Um, and I just want to see. Here we go. Oh, I've only got one level ten. Oh, wow, he has a lot of attack already. 1,215. <gasps> Level 20 is going to have a lot more. Probably 1,500, possibly. Ooh, I look forward to it. But, uh, or we could get another... We could get level 30 of Diplo Sutures, but I always have some sort of pack that I end up using rares for. And that is... It's just so good. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, because I need it. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.